En el año 2006, In 2006, the rector major gave us a string on the family, picking up a call from Pope John Paul II to strengthen their presence and assistance to families. Today, ten years later, a strenna on the family has been offered to the whole Salesian family with the title, We Are a Family. Every home, a school of life and love. Why? Just because we can't remain at the margins at a time of such great importance for the church. Pope Francis called an extraordinary synod in 2014. An ordinary synod in 2015. In 2016, he offered us the extraordinary exhortation Amoris Letizia. It's an invitation to become aware of a reality. We are all born into a family with its own history, its own reality and limits. However, it's in the bosom of a family that we've grown and matured. We try to find out how the family, even in very difficult circumstances, is called to be a school of life and love. A family is made up of people whom we face, people who care and who love each other, who protect and defend, sometimes even through the difficulties, though ultimately, who help themselves. All of us, in fact, we grew up protected by our parents, or one of them, depending on the circumstances. This means that the family is and should be a school of life and love. Escuela de vida y de amor. La familia. A family is the precious place where we are being named and given dignity. The living space in which we felt loved. We experienced tenderness where we learned to ask for forgiveness and give gratitude. The family, the first place that makes us experience warmth as children. And for young people, it's an essential model. And for the elderly, a landing where to end their life. It's our deep human experience. In one way or another, we have all experienced without forgetting that the family itself has a wonderful value. It expresses in an exceptional manner the reality of the triune God who is communion. And in fact, when God decided to share our story, think of an incarnate son who chose an exceptional woman who will be the mother of the Son of God. But this is not enough. He also chose a family to help him grow and mature. In conclusion, we could say that the family has made the human son of God. This means that families have a strong sacramental value. Who are the recipients of this string? All of us, the Salesian family. Because, first of all, we have a full experience of the family in each of our 31 groups, congregations, secular institutes and associations. And if you really have something in common, it's precisely this strong experience of being in the Salesian family and family life. In the different groups of our Salesian family, an essential trace of the family spirit is enclosed. 
which invites us to reach out to families, to share with them and work for their benefit. Certainly many families live painful situations, we know. What is expected of us as a Salesian family? First, we develop a great capacity for empathy, understanding, of closeness to those who are actually experiencing deep crises, that we can really help to rebuild, heal wounds, to create meeting points, and especially to emphasize that in each family there are beautiful aspects and important values. In building families, we make mistakes, and that's why Pope Francis, in the exhortation, proposes attitudes of humility, forgiveness, understanding and compassion. Because in a family, all have the ability to forgive, and we all need to be forgiven. It is this, the expectation of the Salesian family, that we are capable of being present in restoring and building. And here, as a family, we can also offer the experience of our founder. Don Bosco grew up in a fatherless family with, as he recounts, the pain of having lost his father and recalling the words of his mother, my son, you no longer have a father, and a mother who is able to transmit the great values of life responsibility, honesty, faith, the first catechist. We deal with all these. To find that the family is first of all a school of life and love. Not just a place to live or find a little emotional shelter. It's a big responsibility for parents, as it is in fact being fathers and mothers. And here is a first call to take good care of communication. A communication that is alive, it is intense. Not only a cohabitation agreement, and certainly parents who ask their children in the family those behaviors that underlie ethical values in their way of acting. When the family becomes a living space where there is dialogue, understanding, tenderness, care for the development of each component. When the family is an experience of love in which you make a journey of gratitude and love experience. In this case, the family is an authentic experience of salvation. Historia de salvación. La familia. The family is the school of life because inside it and in harmony we receive important values. Values such as freedom and responsibility, autonomy and solidarity, self care, but also the search for the common good, healthy competition but also the ability to forgive. Good communication, but also the ability to listen and respect the silence of each of us. Ultimately, we can say that the family is the school of life and love, because as a school of life, it offers values and offers hope. And as a school of love, it's a welcoming space that directs prevents, corrects, helps and heals. Ultimately, it saves, because the family saves.